people, people, good morning, good morning, good morning, you already know who it is, it's Arsenio Buck, and welcome back to another pre-recorded podcast of the Arsenio Buck Show, man, today I am so grateful, today is the ramble of positivity, today is Monday, today is the day where nothing is happening, but tomorrow is the day, in terms of me meeting a specific individual to talk about working for a company. And this company is probably going to bring me new things. And then, of course, there's the Saturday morning company. And there are so many things that are happening. I I mean, oh, God, it, but first of all, first and foremost, let's focus on what happened last Thursday. OK, well, actually, technically, today is Friday and I'm doing this on Friday, three days before Monday, but actually just happened yesterday. But you guys are going to listen to it on Monday morning. So here it is, guys. We gotta be, I got to be grateful. I got to be so grateful for my man, Steve Pipe, who came on board. And I still recall seeing him, of course, at the park along with so many other people and so many other fitness gurus. And you know what I love so much about it? He has just such a wonderful story. His vibe is unbelievable. And the knowledge he has is just mind-blowing. Like, he was talking to me because, of course, he's from New Zealand, and he had to catch fish a certain way, and he was talking about, you know what, how can we preserve fish and whatnot? He's like, so many people, all these fisheries, they go out and they catch ridiculous amounts of fish. But then when it comes down to, what do they need all that fish? No, but they do it because of money. See, this is the big problem. See, 500 years ago, there were so many things, you know, there weren't that many people fishing and whatnot, okay? But now there are these big fishing nets and there's these big fishing companies where they just get everything. So now, so many fish are considered to be a delicacy. But him, he says there are three of us fishing. We only catch two fish, Arsenio. Because of course, you know, well, of course, fish, you know, as time goes on, they keep replicating and whatnot. But there are a lot of fish out there. This is why Japan has a really big problem right now or japan is a big problem and china is a big problem and and, you know what's happening out there with the blue tuna which is you know basically a tuna that's almost going to become extinct apparently guys these numbers are going down and he was telling me these stories and man just that vibe i was getting from him man we were sitting outside just before that i am so grateful shout out to the Brazilian girl who probably will never listen to this podcast, but there is a Brazilian girl. What? Listen, okay, let me just go back. Okay, so he was coming towards me, and there was a girl sitting there. I thought she was Thai. I was like, okay, whatever. Then he came up to me. He's like, what's up, man? And I was like, I haven't seen you in a while. How was New Year's and everything? And he was telling me, and he was like, so what did you do for New Year's? I was like, well, I heard some bombs go off like at 1158. And he started laughing. I was like, man, it felt like I was back in Vegas again. You know, because, of course, I told you guys so many times about the Vegas gunshots and stuff like that. And, you know, he started laughing. But then I saw her laughing. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. We're just so loud right now. And, you know, we just struck up a conversation with her. She just had came in. She lives in Switzerland, but she's Brazilian and et cetera, et cetera. And she was just a gorgeous olive skin girl. Oh, my God. So uh, I'm going to retract everything I've ever said about Brazilians. All the Brazilians I've met in my lifetime have been very, very rude to me. I don't know why. But, man, huge shout out. Well, of course, you know, you guys listen to me out there on SoundCloud and stuff, too. So shout out to you guys. But this girl, oh, my God, she was just a breath of fresh air. I was looking at her. She was looking at me. And I said, oh, my God, I think you were sent from the heavens. (laughs) Anyways, man, I'm so grateful for her. Although, and I wish her the best of luck in her thing. I'm just sending positive energy her way. And my man Steve Pipe and I, we were just talking for like an hour and a half before the actual podcast. So when we started doing the actual podcast, and he started telling me the stories about the Muay Thai, and the guy said, okay, you, strong power, you, kick, kick, punch, punch, okay, no problem. <laughs> That's what Thai people do, it's so funny. Oh, God, man, good times, man, and... You know, him giving me so much information on cryptocurrency that has ultimately led to me opening an account very, very soon. And we're going to do a bi-weekly podcast on that because I believe if you look at the stock markets, right, how come none of those guys make podcasts? How come none of those guys want to share the wealth, the ideas that they have with the rest of the public? How come there isn't a video saying, hey, listen, I'm a stockbroker and I'm going to show you how you could do this. Why don't they do that? Why not? Doesn't that doesn't that scratch the back part of your mind? Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, so many people hail him. Oh my god, he's a wonderful guy, he's this and that, but how come he doesn't have a podcast sharing, hey, you know what, to all the Americans out there, I'm gonna show you how you could do this. And then if there's a big change coming, he could say, Hey, listen, uh, there's a big change coming, I want you guys to do this and drop out of this and do this. 
none of them do this. There's not a Bitcoin podcast out there right now. Well, they're kind of technical, a little bit is, but there's not much behind it and there's not much audience because so many people are in denial with it. But now after talking to Steve just yesterday, which you guys are actually going to be hearing on Monday, I'm so grateful because now this is like an easy game. And that's what I ultimately want to do with my podcast is share all the ideas and the things and tools that have helped me propel me forward. And share them with you guys. So now, and going forward, I'm so excited with what's happening in uh, in my life. Because, you know, just a week ago, I got denied a job in Chile, which was going to pay me pennies. Uh, just a month ago, I got denied a job here in Thailand, which probably was a very, very bad, 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 bad job. Because I'm guessing I just wasn't supposed to get that, that particular job. But now everything is coming into fruition and now I understand what my purpose is. See, if it wasn't for this particular company on a Saturday and this particular woman who is absolutely gorgeous beyond belief and I'm going to meet her for the first time for an interview in terms of a construction company and so many other things happening on Tuesday. If it wasn't for those things or if it wasn't for these denial of jobs, there's no way I would have created that or even applied for these jobs or whatnot over the past, what is it, couple of weeks. And so here I am with so many people on YouTube commenting, so many people just following me, subscribers coming in from left and right. And I just got to be grateful, not even for that, because you know what? I don't want 100,000 subscribers. I don't want 10,000 subscribers. I just want my own community. And so those of you who are listening to this podcast around the world, see, when you could just wake up and say, I am content with everything. I am content and grateful for everything that is occurring in my life right now. And everything, I am so responsible, 100% responsible for everything that is happening in my life right now. When you can do that, you now have control of your life. Um, Even on Thursday, I'm telling you, Thursday, well, my God, yesterday, which is Monday. uh, Thursday was just such a game-turning day because then this gorgeous girl that I told you guys about, uh, I still don't know what she is, but I think she's part in, I don't know where she's from, but she just got it going on. You know what I'm saying? Listen, gentlemen, when you see something like that, you say, oh my goodness gracious, I don't know what to do with myself. And you know, it's the morning, so my vocals aren't working that much, but man, oh my God, she added me out of nowhere online. I was like, oh my God, I'm supposed to join your class this morning. She was like, I was waiting for you. You've been ditching my classes. And I said, how can I make it up to you? She's like, that's for you to find out. I said, dinner at eight. She's like, done. <laughs> God, hey, listen, it's that easy, gentlemen. You just got to be cool. You just got to be calm, cool, and collective. See, a lot of people, they overthink it and say, oh, man, what should I do? What should I? Just say, man, hey, man, let's just go grab a coffee. Let's go grab a lunch. If you don't like it, peace out. You know what I mean? And that's the rejection. If they say, oh, well, I'm busy, bye. You know, you just on to the next. But she is a wonderful trainer. She went to the top international school in probably Asia. And I am very interested to have this particular dinner with her uh on well actually you guys are actually going to hear this story probably oh man it sucks i'm not even going to be able to report this story until like tuesday and tuesday is the launch of gary v's book and i got crazy things oh god oh my god tuesday oh what a day what a damn day that's gonna be um so you guys are actually hearing this two days after i had that particular you know that quote-unquote date with that gorgeous trainer but um I just love surrounding myself with wonderful people. You know, you know, just it, it's kind of like what I've told you guys about, you know, the mastermind group sitting across from Steve the other day and sitting across from Rich the week before that type of energy and exchanging those thoughts. And you know what? After I got onto the sky train, I just had this energy just reverberating. I was so full of life. I was so full of calmness. I was so full of just ambition. Because when you actually sit across from someone who's doing the same things that you want to do, or you're exchanging the same thoughts and ideas and everything, you're not just having a whiny bitch festival, it's amazing. See, Steve, he was telling me, he's like, man, you know, I've been doing a tra- uh, been a trainer for like four years or whatnot, or three years. He was a teacher too when he first came out here. And he's like, yeah, man, I met my fiance at the gym. And so it's, it's amazing. And again, this gym is where a bunch of brilliant mindsets go. You know, I told you guys about the investor uh, who I see on Facebook all the time. Her name's uh, Belle. 
She is a remarkable individual and full of positive energy and positive life. There's another trainer who I told you she's a tomboy. I wish I could marry her. Ah, uh, but she, yeah, but can't do that. Um, she is full of positive energy. All of these people who work out at the gym and are trainers and even up to the CEO, they are wonderful amounts of energy. That's who I want to surround myself with. And when I surround myself with them, I begin to attract great things into my life. Oh my God, I am so happy and grateful for all of you around the world. And I have to be very, very grateful for those, of course, in those three states who I've said so many different times in those three cities, Long Beach, Edison, Ashburn, you guys are remarkable. Thank you so much because you guys time and time again, you know, you guys listen to me. Of course, I got my folks, you know, in like different parts of New York who come about. I got my folks in, you know. All around, basically, Tennessee, all around the world, but not even that. But, of course, a lot of people in Bangkok and people who just come on board from Spain and Ireland and here and Singapore and Iran and so many different places. Now, on SoundCloud, there's a, a completely different, vast array of uh, uh, countries that listen to me on there. Now, of course, on YouTube, I got the Algeria. I got I got Taiwan. I got Angola. I got Albania. Out of all countries, Albania. I'm so grateful for all of you out there. Seriously. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm truly grateful. I'm truly grateful for the, this morning for just waking up, to, you know, for another opportunity to do to do wonders in this country. I'm very, very grateful for that. And you know what? With all my heart, thank you for the opportunity Uh for uh, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to wake up every day and to inspire and instill and educate my ones who are following me all over around the world. That's the greatest part of humankind, when you could just be grateful for the moment. And so here I am on this gorgeous morning, on this gorgeous Friday morning with probably wonderful things soon to happen, meeting up with another friend for dinner and whatnot, coming back home, writing up some blogs, getting everything prepared. And here I am. Just grateful as hell because so many great things are happening in my life and I just have to take the time to just say, wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what you guys need to do. Just just be, just be, sit upright in a chair when you wake up in the morning. Do your meditation. If you don't want to do a meditation, just sit up, just have some alone time. I'm talking about a pitch black room and just be grateful for the wonderful things and the, the intangible objects that are in your life. Not just the followers, not just this, not all the social media. Take all the social media out. Just be grateful for being you. And with that being said, people, thanks for tuning back into another Ramble of Positivity. As always, this is your host, Arsenio. If you have any questions about anything at all, be sure to comment. And until then, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. As always, your host, Arsenio, over and out.